Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title down below, this is going to be another slow cooker recipe. I'm going to be making a chicken pot pie in a slow cooker. I'm so excited for this. Chicken pot pie is probably my favourite winter dish. And it's definitely not winter here, it's like over 40 degrees Celsius, so it is stinking hot. So I do have my fans on, oh, so sorry if you can hear that, but I'm not turning them off, it's so hot. But, um, that's why I thought I'd do a slow cooker meal today for tea, so then it's just here. We'll hang out in the lounge room, and then when we're hungry, five hours later, we can come and eat. Um, I am going to need the oven near the end for the puff pastry. Um, and then right at the start I'm going to make the sauce on the stove and then the sauce will go into slow cooker with all the veggies and meat and it'll just sit there. So the oven won't be on for long, the stove top cooking won't be on for long at all and then you just dump it all in slow cooker and you go on your merry way for about five hours and come back to a delicious dinner. So without further ado I'll show you guys the ingredients. I'm so weird. I'll show you guys the ingredients. Um, I got everything out here. We will need puff pastry, but that's right at the last minute, so I don't have it. And same with egg. I'll just need one egg for egg wash for the puff pastry. And again, that's last minute, so I don't have that out. Everything else I have out on my bench. So I'll show you guys the ingredients. All right, so I'm pretty sure I have got everything here. And the best thing about a chicken pot pie it is so versatile for seasoning and vegetables. So obviously we want some chicken. I have this packaging here. I'm going to do two of the chicken breasts, the other ones are once the things open I'll just bag up and freeze because um, yeah obviously I haven't separated it yet but only two chicken breasts for this recipe I got um, some frozen peas, a leek, celery, four carrots look how stupid skinny these carrots are at the end like there's my pinky finger <laughs> like these are so stupid and skinny so I got four of those if you have a normal carrot just one or two I might even get another one of those stupid skinny carrots but yeah, just one or two carrots. Um, sorry, celery, leek, I don't know if I said that. I got four small potatoes. Um, I got half a onion, which is ginormous. So we used some of that yesterday, I think, or the day before. So I'm using the other half now. It's a giant onion. Um, if you've got a normal onion, just use like one normal onion. <laughs> I got some garlic here, which I don't know how many I'm gonna use yet, how many cloves, but fresh garlic. Some fresh thyme leaves. So that's pretty much just the vegetables. Um, and again, like I said, it's so versatile. You can just have carrot and potato. You can just do peas and potato. You can just do celery and carrot. Like, it doesn't matter. You can add other things. It doesn't really matter. But this is what I think of. And I think of a chicken pot pie. So these are the veggies I'm checking in. And then for seasonings, obviously your normal salt and pepper. I also got some ground white pepper. I got some ground cayenne pepper. We only want a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of this. If you do not want any spice, you do not whoop, need an apple. Um, I don't want it for the heat, I just want it for the flavour. And some stock. So whether that be chicken stock or vegetable stock, I use vegetable stock and the powder stock. The measurements or the directions on this particular one, it says add one heat teaspoon to four cups of hot water to taste. To me that's way too wee, that it just tastes so watery. We want two cups of stock. Um, so I'm probably going to do like one or two <laughs> teaspoons with my two cups of stock. If you got loot for stock, use that or just do whatever. However you normally make stock, just do some stock. Um, we got some butter and some flour for the brew. So now we'll go over to the stove and we'll start the brew sauce. Alright, so I'm just going to put my pot onto medium heat. I'm going to put in about 50 grams of butter. And while I'm waiting for the butter to melt, I've just um, got a heat tablespoon of flour off to the side ready. Alright, so the butter is now melted and bubbling. So while that was melting, I got flour, one tablespoon, I got one heat tablespoon of flour here. And I got two heat teaspoons of the stock powder here. And I got my kettle up to the boil to make the stock up. But for now, we want to add in the flour. I'm going to switch to this spatula so I can really scrape down the sides and the edges of the pot to make sure I'm getting all of the flour. And now that I know all of it's completely incorporated, 
I'll just go back to my whisk and just give it a bit of a mix. And we just want to cook this in for a minute. So while that's going to do that, I will prepare my stock. So I'll just tip the boiling hot water in with my two heat two heat teaspoons of stock. Sorry. And now I'm going to add the stock. And obviously, in the mug that won't hold two tables, I mean, two cups of water. So I'll just mix this in. And I'll just add more water because it already has a stock powder in here. And then this way, doing the sauce on the stove, your mixture in the slow cooker um, is just like, this is the delicious gravy to it. Obviously the veggies and the herbs and the seasoning will add, will add flavor, but this is just the start of it. And then yeah, it will just cook all together. And it's very nice. All right, so now we just want to chop the vegetables. Um, doesn't matter what order or anything like that. So, I cannot get over this damn carrot though. But yeah, doesn't matter what order, but we just want them to be not too teeny tiny, but obviously a good bite size kind of piece. Hey, Sorry. And the great thing about this as well, as well, is they just all go straight in the pot just how they are right now so yeah I'll just keep on chopping these up and when they're all done and in the pot I'll just show you guys like the sizes that I pretty much done for everything all right so this is what we're looking like in the pot so the rings is like I just cut them into a ring well actually they cut them for me um carrots you saw me cut up the potatoes are smaller chunks and the carrots, so it's potato, um, quite small, what else is in there, garlic you can see up there I just roughly chopped, thyme leaves, I picked the leaves off, I didn't chop them or anything, I just picked off the leaves, it's probably about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less than a tablespoon of fresh um, thyme leaves, the celery, I done two stalks and I just finally chopped up celery. Um, what else is it? I think that's about it. But with the potato as well, I had four at the start. I only ended up with three. I just used three. Um, so now I'm going to start the chicken. So like I said as well at the start, I'll just do two of the chicken breast for this recipe and I think as well at the start I might not have mentioned cream I know I said the the um what is it called puff pastry and puff pastry and what the egg oh my goodness the puff pastry and the egg for finish but also to finish it off as well we want some cream um so yeah, we, we want cream definitely. And with the chicken here, I'm just, you can do it two ways. You can leave the chicken breast whole or just cut them in half if you prefer. You can use chicken thighs as well. It doesn't have to be chicken breast. Um, but you can leave them whole. I'm going to just dice it up small, similar to like my veggie sizes with the potatoes and carrots. And then that way, once it's cooked, it's going to be super, super tender, these little bits. But if you leave the chicken breast full or whole, then you'll be able to shred it. It'll be a really nice and tender to shred. If you want to shred bits of chicken throughout instead. And obviously, I'm not pre-cooking my chicken. We'll just chuck it in. It'll, the slow cooker will cook it for us. Um, and yeah, it's going to be so good. Like I said, I love chicken pot pie. I feel like maybe that's why I'm making it because I haven't had it for so long. 
because I especially love it in the winter for some reason it just tastes better when it's a cold night it tastes so much better but um, but yeah we're doing it today all right so with this delicious sauce or the start of the sauce I should say that we made before dump that all in that even even in itself smells so good already all right, so we just want to give this a good old mix so everything's all well mixed. The thyme leaves are spread and the garlic is spread around all of it and it's all coated in with the sauce. All right, and now with this, we want some of this white pepper. So maybe, I don't know, about half a teaspoon. Well, maybe not even that much, to be honest. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> Ground cayenne pepper or hot chili powder or whatever kind of spicy hot powder that you have tiniest little pinch not even one eighth of a teaspoon just a tiny tiny amount because that goes a very long way and like i said earlier as well we don't want it for the spiciness we just want it for the flavor unless you do want spicy then you add more but if you don't want spicy just the tiniest amount anyhow salt and your regular black pepper pretty warm in my kitchen my whole house is warm um, just because of how hot it is outside today uh, the slow cooker with well, this one specifically I'm assuming that would be all the same but it doesn't add the heat to your kitchen it's just it is its own little thing it keeps its heat to itself right so ooh, lid on I guess the fan can go off because I'll be leaving this room um also high for like three to four hours i'm going to cook it on low for about five hours and because of my chicken is so small um even four hours on low could could be it but i'm going to do it for five hours it is 1 45 now so what's that 6 45 so almost seven o'clock we'll be back um and yeah so we just leave this cook and i'll see you guys in five hours and these are the bowls that i'm going to be serving them in so just with a sheet of puff pastry and i'm obviously just for nick and i so i'm just going to do two i'm just going to cut a circle out I could obviously probably like do three or four, but we'll only need two, so I'm just going to do two for now. So I just got an egg that I'm going to beat up, brush the pastry with the egg. A little bit of salt. And I'm running out of everything apparently. I wanted to sprinkle a tiny bit of dry thyme, but I don't have any left, so I'm just doing a tiny bit of oregano. And now this is going to go into my preheated oven at 200 degrees until it's puffed up nice and golden brown. Alright, so. While the puff pastry won't be too much longer, and I ended up adding an extra two tablespoons of the corn flour slurry because it's still quite liquidy. So I'm just going to scoop it up and pop them in the bowls. Oh my god, it smells so good! And I'm trying to drain a little bit of the juice because it is pretty liquidy. Um, but also, when this cools, it will definitely thicken up some more. So 
put one. So I'm just going to leave the lid on. There's definitely leftovers, but I'll put that away. I've unplugged and turned, turned it off now. But with the leftovers, I'll like put it in a bowl after we eat. So I've just taken these guys out of the oven now. And holy smokes, this tray is hot. So here are the dishes full of the filling, as you can see. Um, and already just with this cooling, I can tell that it is definitely thickening up a bit more. It's still quite just runny, but you can drain more of the saucy, juicy if you don't want it, but it doesn't really bother us. And obviously the chicken pot pie needs that topping. So that's where these are gonna go, right on top. How stinking cute is this? Oh my gosh. So then also with this being juicy, we can like rip this off apart and dip it and eat it. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. Anyhow, that is so cute. And it's so at the start of this video, I said I'll be about five hours and it's turned out to be seven. Beauty of a slow cooker. <laughs> I am looking like a right mess because we, the reason why it was five hours to seven hours is we went to Kendra's house for a swim. The lighting's starting to go bad in here now, but you guys saw the food. That's the main thing. And I've tasted it and oh, so good. So, so good. Anyway, so if you don't want to do a slow cooker and use this recipe just as a standard pot pie, you definitely can and put the pastry on top. But if you are like me and just want to use a slow cooker, then definitely do it. It worked out so good. And like I said, doing just cutting out the ring and popping it on top is so cute. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.